everybody, this is Mark from Diablo.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking to you about Diablo on the PlayStation 1. Now, Diablo was originally a PC game, of course, released by Blizzard back in uh, 1997. And the reason I'm showing you the PlayStation 1 version is purely for technical reasons. Much easier to capture footage. Okay, here we go, get going, I'll show you the character creation. You've got three basic characters, you've got your warrior, who uh, does melee combat very well, your rogue, who has a bow, shoots stuff, and your sorcerer, who's good with spells, and not much else. You also have the option to load a character if you've already completed the game before, and you can start over with them and do it at a much higher difficulty yes, to repair the lead. Okay, so let's get going. Yeah, I've skipped ahead a bit here, and uh, I'm just going to use this opportunity to show off the voice acting in the game. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avengers, find this butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. There we go. A bit cheesy, but it sets the scene quite well. Tells you about the first boss in the game, who's called the Butcher. Here we go, into the dungeon proper now. Just give you a quick few words about what you're seeing on the screen here. Okay, the two bars on the left, the red one is your life, and the blue one is your mana. Life, of course, keeps you alive. Once that gets to zero, you die. And the blue is your mana, which gets uh, used up as you cast spells and such. And below that is a little bar which you can have your quick items, which are usually potions to either heal your life or your mana, or scrolls to cast spells on the flight. Okay, now this is uh, the inventory screen you see here. I've just picked up a club, having a quick look at my character. I'm using a bow, and not much else. So, you walk around, third person, shooting at stuff. There we go, picking up a potion mana and a cape, and a bit of gold. Quick check of the map, and back to the inventory. Now, with the cape I've just picked up, Provided it's not a uh, magical nature, which it isn't, I can put away it straight away. There we are, pop it back in. Now my armor class has gone up a little bit, making me a little bit harder to hit, and taking a bit less damage. The game itself is viewed in this uh, third person perspective, 16 levels to go through, starting off with the first few dungeons and catacombs, progressing down deeper and deeper until you eventually get to hell to fight Diablo. It's quite extreme, but there we go. Now every time you play the game, the level is actually randomly generated, so uh, the item placements, are creatures, Traps and treasures are all different every time you play. Now, I've skipped ahead a little here to show you what happens when you uh, level up your character. Every time you kill a creature, you get experience, you get enough, you level up. And when leveling up, you get five new points to uh, put in your stats. Now, there's strength, which is good for hitting stuff, magic, good for casting spells, dexterity, which affects how well you hit stuff, and vitality, which affects your life. And at the bottom, you can see your life and mana, they're both derivative of your uh, vitality and magic. And that also affects the other stuff. There we go, there's the other screen showing you my class, how long they have to hit something, and how much damage you do, and so on and so forth. The other things worth noting here, I've got a couple more items in my quick item bar, having collected them from uh, fallen foes and treasure chests, and the icon above those, which shows that the armor I'm wearing is about to wear out. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here again, here we go. Now this is on level 2, this is the butcher that I was uh, told about earlier. Now he's quite a big hefty brute this guy, bit of a boss character. As you can see, he's got some resistances to magic, uh, but no immunities, which is good, so if you're paying a wizard, you don't have to worry too much. Now, I'm trying to get a few licks in and back away here, but he's not having any of it. He's coming in close, using his huge cleaver, and chopping me up so bad. Unless I pull something quick out the bag here, I think he might kill me. Rather than directly attacking him with my bow, one option I could use would be to try and use a magic spell on him, either with the scrolls I've got in the quick item bar, or any scrolls I've learned from magic books, like around the place. Unfortunately, I've not learned any spells at this point, all I've got is my class ability. And the game's smooth in that weird little way because I've died. The butcher's killed me. So I'm going to have to fall back, reload my game, and do the new strategy. So, what I did was reload my game, return to town so I can uh, repair my items, identify any magical items that I got, and perhaps buy something new. So, there we go, that's me talking to Kane, the town elder. He's uh, identifying the magical items I got. And luckily, some of them are quite better than the ones I've already got. And you can see my inventory there, I've got a staff, which is no use to me really because I'm a uh, ranger, not a fighter. That's me swapping out the bow for the new one, which uh, gives me a bonus to my dexterity. I'm also swapping my cloak for my cape of the mind, which gives me a bonus to my magical stat, which means I can then learn the spells that are in those two spell books. Also, freeing up some uh, precious space in my inventory and giving me a couple of new spells that I can cast. Just shuffle around a few of the items in my inventory to make room for other ones. That's me talking to uh, Ogden there. Selling off a few items I don't need. Easy local black food from the town. Right, so with all that done, it's time to get out of town and get back to the dungeon and try and take on the butchery. So, we fast forward ahead. Here we go. 
back in the dungeon, level 2, here's the butcher much more preferred for them this time, you'll see in the top left corner above the two bars I've got a new spell selected rather than my class ability, really. that's actually a healing spell so I can use that to obviously heal up my life, there we go, that's me using it there the, man the blue mana goes down and the red life goes up giving you a longer chance to fight this guy ok, trying to keep the distance, pick off a few shots at him, pull back before we can get in close and use his cleaver because I excel at ranged attacks whereas he excels at melee attacks and so on and so forth it goes. Obviously he's quite a tough character and uh, both don't do much damage but they fire very rapidly. Back off, try and keep the distance. Shoot, shoot. My life's not looking too great. And I've not got enough mana to recast the spell. I'm going to have to do something else. Try and pull back, get some distance. And then... Jump into the infantry screen. Now I've got two potions there on my bar. One's a potion of mana, one's a potion of health. They're both uh, major potions and they pull it up all the way to the top. Give me a much better chance at this fight. So, shoot, 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 shoot. And with a bit of luck, you should drop. Just like that. So that's the Butcher dead and the first major quest in Diablo completed. Next up, King Leoric's tomb or something else. Well, there we go. Thanks for watching. If you like more of this kind of thing, please go to piao.co.uk, get on the forums, tell us what you like. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.